Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Higher derivative 17.3 is most important thing to know that we have always three variables x, y, and a. You can see if you see question number four, we have x, y, and z. Like normally in higher derivative to find the maximum or minimum value, we always have three variables. I can show you one more thing from the past paper. When you see a past paper question here. This is June or November 2009. You can see in this question, November 2009, uh, we have three variables, H, R, and A. So normally, just remember one thing, when you do the higher derivative, we always have three variables. This June 2010, you can see, we have X, Y, and the area. So please remember when you like working for this exercise 17.3, we always work like in uh, three variables. Okay, let's see. Now what we what are the steps to do this question? Uh, this is very simple. Uh, we have to make one thing. Here you can see this part. The area is x y. Okay, and requirement is minimum value of a. So minimum value of a means your equation should be a equals to something. So a equals to something means uh, a is equals to in terms of x. Okay. So now from here, the first question number three is from the first equation, 2x plus y is equals to 10. You have to make y as a subject. 10 minus 2x. Put this value in the equation a is equals to xy. So a is equals to x and y is 10 minus 2x. Like normally we have the same thing in the past papers that they are normally asked why y in terms of x or something else. So 2x squared. Now we need to differentiate dA upon dx in terms of x. When you do the differentiation is coming only 10 minus this is coming for x. Okay, when you require to find the minimum value, minimum value means, please remember, uh, the stationary point, turning point, maximum point, minimum point, all these values are like differentiation, the different, like derivative is always equals to zero. This is very important here. So now I need to put the value. Okay, what's the gradient here? Like gradient is zero. Why this is zero equals to 10 minus 4x. Now what I have to do? So find the value of x. So 4x is equals to 10, and x is equals to 10 upon 4 means 5 upon 2 means 2.5. Okay, this is the value of x, but they asked to find the value of a. Remember the value of a, a is equals to x, y. Even you know that we have got the value a is also here, a is equals to this. Just put the value here. It's very simple. 10, like 5, 2.5 or 5 upon 2, because I don't have calculated right now. Minus 2 into 5 upon 2 whole square. So a is equals to, you can cancel 2 times 5 is 25 minus. This is 2 into 25 upon 4. So whatever the answer is coming, that will be the value of A, which is maximum. Because maximum or minimum, this is already like in the question. So you can find the value. Please calculate. This is coming 25 minus like uh, this is 12.5. And when you minus is coming 12. Okay. So question number. In question number three, like four, z equals x squared plus y squared. From the first equation, what you can do, you can make y as a subject. Okay, when you make y the subject, y is equals to two minus x. You put this value here, z is equals to x squared plus y squared. x squared and plus y is two minus x whole squared. Just simplify, it's coming x squared plus a square minus 2 times a and b and plus you have to use a perfect square formula here 
So z is coming, x squared and x squared is 2x squared, plus this is coming minus 4x, only plus 4. Okay, now, what we need, we need to find the value of x and y when z is maximum. Okay, when, so we need to find the maximum value of z means dz upon dx differentiate 4x minus 4. And we write gradient is 0. Because to get the maximum value, the gradient is always 0. So x is equals to 4 upon 4 is 1. So when x is 1, so now we need to find the value of like uh, x, x we got the value and y is equals to y is equals to 2 minus x. So 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. So x is 1 and y is also 1. Sorry, y is also 1. So now, this was the question number two when gradient zero maximum. In this uh, question number five, we can see x and y, and these are the question, and z is defined. Okay, z is equals to x squared plus y. First of all, we need to write y is equals to 32 divided by x power 4. So the z is equals to x squared plus y is 32 divided by x power 4. Now, uh, we need to find a stationary value for, for like uh, that z is maximum or minimum is minimum. We need to differentiate dz upon dx. Uh, okay, I want to write this x power is minus 4. So 2x minus uh, 4 times 32, you can do it, is coming 128, I think. Okay, this 128 x power is minus 5, so you can write it down. x power is 5. This is 0. 2x minus 128 divided by x power 5. When you simplify 128 upon x power 5 is equals to 2x. When you simplify, it's coming, you can write x power 6 is equals to. 128 divided by 2 and you can simplify now x power 6 is equals to 2 times 1 2 times 6 and 4 64 and 64 i think so we can write 2 power 6 so x is coming two. okay we got the value of x now can you find the value of y x power 4 y is equals to 32 from here you can write y equals to 32 upon x power 4 so y is equals to 32 divided by like your uh, x is 2 power 4. So 2 to the 4, 4, like you can write 2 power 4 is 16 is coming 2. So x is 2 and y is also 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, you can get 16. Okay. Is it question number 5? Question number 6, like uh, I would like to draw a figure first of all here. In this figure, uh, what is given? You can see uh, the rectangle has a side x and y. This is x and this is y. And the perimeter was a formula of perimeter. We had all the sides. This is y and this is x. 2x plus 2y. So, what we can do uh, here, what is given here, the area of the rectangle is 16 centimeters squared. So area is 16 centimeter square means area normally or the perimeter area is x into y is 16. So you can get the value of y from here first of all. This value of y you can substitute here. So the perimeter is equals to 2x plus y is 16 upon x. When you simplify this, is coming 2x plus 32 divided by x and we have proved here this is we have done it okay now hence calculate the value of x when p is stationary okay so what we need dp upon dx is required we need to differentiate this so when you differentiate you have to write it in the proper form because 32 x is minus 1 so when you differentiate is coming 2 minus 32 x power is minus 2. So this minus 2 will come down 
I can write x square here. This is different, and this I will write zero because to find the minimum value of p. So now when we simplify, is coming 32 upon x square is equals to two. X square is equals to you can write 16, and when you take the root, it's coming plus minus four. So there are two values of y. So hence, uh, okay, now show that the the value of p is minimum. This is uh, the part of 17.2. So now, uh, after this, what we can do, uh, x and, and x, or only the required x and value of p, okay, p is equals to, uh, we can put the value here, uh, x2, the perimeter. Okay, one more thing. Uh, x cannot be negative because x is the side of like uh, rectangles is always positive, so don't consider the negative value. 2 times 4, 32 divided by 4. The perimeter, which is like uh, the uh, like your stationary point, is coming two four eight, and a is coming sixteen. Okay, this is uh, actually the uh, value, the stationary value of p. Now show that the value of p is minimum. So for this purpose, you remember uh, in seventeen point two, I explained. We need to find d square y over dx square, second derivative. So we have to write here p now. Again, I need to differentiate this one. What's the p? This 2 minus 32 and x will become minus 2, first of all. Okay, now differentiate. This is coming 0. Differentiation minus 2 is minus is plus 64. x power is minus 3. So it means uh, now I can write 64 divided by x power cube and put x is equals to 4. When you write x equals to 4, your answer of this part will be positive. When this is positive, it means the value of p is minimum. This is the way we have done. Like uh, when second derivative is positive, uh, is minimum value. When second derivative is negative, is the ma maximum value. Now, question number seven. Uh, again, for this part, uh, it's a rectangle. It's the same category. What you can do, you can draw a rectangle first of all. Uh, so, you can draw a rectangle first of all. And in the rectangle, you can see this the value of like here. Perimeter is like now, the perimeter is 80 meter. And maximum area is required. Area formula is x1. And the perimeter formula is 2x plus 2y. So I can write 80 here. And when you simplify, it's coming divided by like uh, 2. It's coming 40 is equals to x plus y. From here, make y the subject. 40 minus x. This value will be substituted here. So this will become x and 40x minus x. An area is coming 40x minus x squared. This I need to differentiate now. dA upon dx. And the difference is coming 40 and minus 2x. Now what we need is put 0 here. 40 minus 2x. And when you get the value of x is coming, x is coming uh, 20. Okay. This is the value of x when the area is maximum. And Calculate the maximum area means you need to put the value here. Like, uh, first of all, to find the area, the a is equals to 40 x minus x squared. Just put the value here and get the answer. Uh, after this question number seven, all the questions are very important because of like all questions are, are related to the past several questions. And I will also like your uh, next video will be very important because. Uh, I will also relate some questions with past people. So please uh, don't forget to watch that video. Now after this is coming 800 and minus 400 and then area is coming 400 meter square and that's the maximum when x is 20. So by this way, uh, like I have done till question number 7 of 17.3. Next video I will also touch like uh, with the past people questions. I hope that this video is useful. If, think, if you think yes, please share with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.